Hello. In this video, I'll talk to you about changes that I've made in my personality. Life after incarceration. All right. So here we go. To be strong, Daniel, you must be silent. I'm Daniel, by the way. Nice to meet you. To be strong, you must be silent. I don't talk to the police anymore. Uh -uh. Um, I get away from them. As far as like if they're walking by, they need a witness or something, I disappear. Uh, not that I like crime. Um, the reason I don't hang out with the police, I used to think they were my friends. But now I notice that they already were trained to just put men in jail in, or in the hospital jail, the Baker Act thing. They don't listen to any stories and if they do that's fine, they still put you in there. So they're not, they're not here to help. Not me at least. Because I'm a man. Alright, another thing I stopped doing, I don't drive in order to avoid the police. I don't want any speeding tickets, I don't want any tickets. I mean, in our society, without, if we can put someone on the moon, right? Then, can't we put sensors on cars so that they automatically slow down to whatever the speed limit is? Alright, look into Jack Fresco. He invented those things, or he at least mentioned them. All right, I live alone so nobody bothers me. This one I haven't been able to do yet because I don't have any money right now. But that's changing also because I've figured out ways to earn some money uh, by helping other people with the uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Gary Davis. All right. I live alone so nobody bothers me. Mm. I have a friend that he lives alone and he says that he's bored. But I told him he has peace and he could become a saint. Uh, you could also become an animal or a, a savage but you could become a saint if you live alone because nobody touches your stuff nobody moves it from here to there and then you can't find it uh... the day i got baker acted two days later and this is the story that she told the police which was the truth i kicked the door because my kids were slamming the door with each other and one of us and i didn't want them to hurt their fingers so i i was sleeping and they were both sick from school sick day so I, brought, I told him go to the living room and I just practiced kicking the door because the spouse had moved my tools. Uh, basically she says this is my living room and she also says this is my house and even though my name is on the mortgage it's not true this is not my house until she's dead. Alright so it's not my house. Um, So I have to obey her rules because I live in her house, even though illegally it's I'm in here. The police don't see it as your house anyway if the woman lives here. Oh, he broke the door? Yeah, that's not illegal, but we're going to bake her acting. <sighs> All right. I learn about carpentry, electricity, computers, memorizing, the Bible. I learn about the human rights and I read with my son I spar with my son I make videos and it says here I'm available to my daughter and this is from 17 days ago September 22nd but what happened was recently the last two weeks my daughter has finally formed a, a friendship with me where she practices Tai Chi Chuan what happened was she saw a girl being grabbed by the hair and thrown to the floor by a boy at school and that happened to the girl because the girl 
said something bad about the boy's mother. And so my daughter is a perfectionist and she wants to I'm happy she's finally she finally wants to learn to defend herself but I told her that to defend yourself daughter um, the first defense is not to offend that's from Chuck Norris's commercial uh, it was about wearing deodorant So I'm available to my daughter. She's practicing Tai Chi Chuan. She's reading with me the books I want to read. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights. There's another one about masters and slaves, written by Anonymous. And I enjoy my time with my daughter. She's talking with me. She was telling me about communism. I have the paper here somewhere. So. I like to joke about communism, socialism, and capitalism. You have two cows, what do you do? You can look it up in Wikipedia. If you have two cows and you're in the capitalist, then you sell one cow and you buy a bull. Then you have that. In another method, you have two cows, the government comes, takes your cows, and makes you buy milk. In another one, they take two cows from you and they don't give you any milk or something I forget how it goes but it's, it's a very good way to learn about about the different types of government monarchy, anarchy, uh, theocracy anarchism and all of those things alright enjoy your life Go read about Booker T. Washington. He has a beautiful book called Character Building. It's free at LibriVox.org. And also go read about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the Gary Davis story. Gary Davis.